the excessively apical placement of the implant is the simplest corrections. We have, and the excessively apical placement of the implant only has, as negative aspect the length of the transmucosal pathway that we to create in order to get the gingival margin of the prosthetic crown to the same level of the contralateral homologous tooth. How? Exactly in the same way I told you we manage the perforation. First we move the flap coronally. You see the flap advanced coronally, so the vestibular flap reaches the palatal flap and completely covers the connective graft. Then we have the perforation, the alveolar mucosa, apical to this area. That was not a perforation, but it was the exposure of the implant head. It has been completely stripped of any muscular structure. So this flap, when I will suture it from here to here, it will move cornally. However, this is not perforation that I created with the blade so I can just suture. It's a perforation that was created with the exposure of the implant head so it's all re so I have to take the microsurgery scissors. 